This inductee finished her career as one of the most decorated players in Rainbow Wahine volleyball history. Raised in Eva Beach and a product of Kamehameha Schools Ka Palama, she went on to become a three-time AVCA First Team All-American and four-time AVCA All-Region Honoree for the Rainbow Wahine. She was a three-time WAC Player of the Year, who finished her career fifth all-time in kills and digs, who became just the seventh player in school history with over 1,000 career kills and digs. She led UH to the 2009 NCAA Final Four and three NCAA regional appearances. Her teams compiled a 123-12 overall record and was consistently ranked among the top teams in the country. A four-time First Team All-WAC recipient, she was also named to the Coast Sida Academic All-District Second Team and was a two-time WAC Tournament Most Outstanding Player. Tonight, we welcome this Queen of the Court into the UH Sports Circle of Honor, Kanani Danielson. This inductee was considered one of UH's all-time great athletes. After serving with the U.S. Marines, he later became a three-sport letterman for the Rainbows in the 1950s in football, baseball, and track and field. He was best known for his two seasons with the football team, setting school records with an 87-yard run versus Fresno State and a 95-yard kickoff return for touchdown against Oregon. As a member of the 1955 squad, who has 40-point underdogs upset Nebraska 6 to nothing in Lincoln, which is still among the biggest upsets in school history. In addition to football, he was one of the best sprinters in the state and later played baseball for the Milwaukee Braves organization, becoming at the time just the third UH player to sign an MLB contract. Later in life, he changed his name and pursued his childhood ambition of becoming a trapeze artist and created the Flying Souls, the first black trapeze troupe. Tonight, we honor this all-around legendary athlete into the UH Sports Circle of Honor, James Skippy Dyer. Throughout most of his life, this inductee has bled green and white. A former Rainbow football letterman and assistant coach, he helped pioneer the most comprehensive local television sports package in the country with KHNL, generating millions of dollars in revenue for the athletics department. He was a two-year starter at linebacker in the 1960s and coached five seasons under Dave Holmes and Larry Price in the 70s. He later served as color analyst with legendary broadcaster Jim Leahy on radio and television for over a decade. A former executive director of Ahahui Koa Anui Nui, he was director and past president of the Nakoa Football Club. As general manager of Hawaii News Now, he helped create the Nakoa Bowl, a telethon that financially supported the football program. And till this day, he continues to support his beloved Rainbow Warriors. Tonight, we welcome this proud alumnus into the UH Sports Circle of Honor, Rick Blangiardi. Believe. That was the mantra of the 2007 Warrior football team en route to an undefeated 12-0 regular season and All-State Sugar Bowl appearance. Coached by June Jones, the Warriors captivated an entire state and played before record crowds at Aloha Stadium. The Warriors became just the third non-BCS team to be invited to a BCS Bowl and captured the program's first outright WAC title with a memorable 39-27 victory over Boise State. Ranked as high as number 10 in the national polls, the Warriors were led by record-setting quarterback and Heisman Trophy finalist Colt Brennan. Receivers Devon Best, Brian Grace Mullen, and Jason Rivers, and offensive lineman Hercules Satelli, all of whom received All-America honors. Jones was named WAC Coach of the Year and was a finalist for National Coach of the Year. Brennan, the WAC's Offensive Player of the Year, and 10 others received all-conference recognition. Tonight, we celebrate this historic group into the UH Sports Circle of Honor, the 2007 Warrior football team. 